Welcome, viewers, back to Space Haven and the adventures of Tala, Jimmy, Madeline, and Emerson aboard the HSS Horus. It is evening or early morning of day 12. Uh, last episode, we fixed finally the arrangement of the living quarters and uh, dealt with some power problems. And in this episode, I believe we are going to explore the second derelict in this sector, the Grievous, the ACS Grievous QP-200. Uh, we did explore the Dawson Lambton already. And on that ship, we found some goods to transfer, which we're still in progress of transferring. Um, but we did not find any tech blocks, which is really our main... Uh, resource limiter right now, tech blocks. We did finish mining. Uh, so all we have to do for this day is finish transferring goods from the Dawson Lambton and move on to exploring the Grievous QP 1200. So it looks like our team is awake and let's take a look at what they're doing. So early in the morning, they all get up and now the most comfortable place on the ship I believe is their bedroom. They all have just enough room to stand in there. Hopefully they go and get a bite to eat before too long. Taking a look at their schedules, we can see that uh, they don't have a lot of time in the morning before they have to start work. So looks like Tala's had enough of that and she's headed into the kitchen. We're going to take a look at their current conditions before we go. So she's feeling comfortable, a good night's sleep, which is going to last for seven hours. She is lonely and someone was already mean to her. So that's going to last for another six hours. Maybe that happened last night. Oh, poor Madeline is having a mental breakdown. Oh, but she is feeling very comfortable. So I think overall, I'm going to guess overall, she's in a good mood despite having, having um, a mental breakdown. Uh, Madeline, ah, somebody thanked her. That's good. That helped her mood a lot, but she is not doing the, the best. So we're probably going to have to lay off on her a bit. Wow, look at this. Heard a funny joke. Ha ha ha, I heard a really funny joke and had a good laugh. Great. They're really getting... So it looks like the positive benefits of having... Um, he also did something he loved. His bloodlust kicked in. Jimmy loves the, loves fighting those aliens. So it looks like the positive benefits of having a comfortable place to sleep really pay dividends as they, they get happier and talk to each other. Um, and interestingly, even their loneliness, except for Madeline's, and Tala, so the girls are still a bit lonely. The, the boys are feeling loved, though. All right, so as somebody heads off in the shuttle here, that's Tala and Jimmy are heading off to finish uh, the um, transfer of goods from the first derelict. The other two, Madeline and Emerson, are in the ship finishing, uh, finishing moving what I believe was uh, the electronic fabricator just got moved. And since we did have our power situation taken care of, hopefully we can turn on the rest of these ships and get these ships, these uh, components, and get everything working again. Uh, let's check the water first off, because that's fairly important. If we turn water on, it doesn't take much power, and it is powered. And we're going to verify that it stays. If we have less than 10 water, they'll, they'll try turning some ice blocks into water. If we have plenty of ice blocks, that's, they're not going to be hurting for water for a while. Next, we'll check this assembler. The assembler is making infra blocks and whole blocks. Checking the inventory there. Infra blocks, we're down to four whole blocks. It looks like we need, uh, we have an alarm set on whole blocks. Insufficient resources, oh, fruits, vegetables, and artificial meat. That's probably the first thing to check for then. These are still powered. That's good. Turn off the power meter for a second. Um, and we do have fruits, vegetables, and meat growing. But we're probably going to have to address that pretty soon. We're going to want to move these um, pod bays into our pod bay wing over here. And expand our grow area a bit. That's, it would be nice to focus on that simultaneously. Focusing on improving our uh, resource machines so that we... 
can make tech blocks ourselves. Um, okay, so turning on more things, let's see how we're doing on the metal refinery. This thing isn't going to draw any power if I turn it on because they have, uh, actually it will, sorry, so they'll, they'll want to produce some more steel plates. We do have the resources for that. And then this one, the recycle re, we're recycling energy tech infra. We don't have any whole scrap to recycle. We have some infra scrap, so that will, these will all, uh, energy not so much, whole scrap not so much. So, um, what we should probably do is just turn these all on to continuous. So they use all of the scrap. Although looking at it now, there's not any scrap to use except for this infra scrap. So we might as well cancel this for now and just say, use the rest of the infra scrap until we get, get it finished. And we'll turn that back on. We did finish moving the electronic fabricator. So let's start a job on this where, um, yeah, I mean, we have plenty of electronic components, so let's just build those if we drop below five. Great, so that shouldn't use any power. Uh, make sure it's not stopped. Lastly, check in the chemical refinery. Do we actually have the ability to refine anything? Yes, we do have raw chemicals now. We have a raw chemical, I mean, a chemical refinery available. Um, we want to refine chemicals. Chemicals are going to be used in the next step of resources. Uh, we don't have any, so let's, again, 0.2 raw chemicals makes one product. So to make five products, we'll need one chemical. And we have 10. Let's bump that up to make it, having them make five. That's probably going to use quite a bit of power, but uh, I think we should be able to sustain that. Taking a look at our resource machines. Um, the next one we wanted, I believe, was... Which one was the next? We have the chemical. We probably want a cell fuser, but not yet. We have electronics. Ultimately, we want to make the... Ah, it was optronics. That's what we needed next. So optronics takes two chemicals, one electronics to make a optronics component. And then optronics components are what we're going to use along with infra in the advanced assembler to make tech. So optronics requires two, three techs. We only have two. Oh, sorry, we only have one, so we're missing two. So, so our goal before we even bother making that is to find two more tech blocks. Meanwhile, if we wanted to move this, we would need to build one. And that's going to take our remaining tech block. So we could build a temporary, a temporary hangar here so that we could move these shuttle pods. And while that will take our only remaining tech block, uh, we can disassemble that and, and build it again. So let me just outline what I think the plan is here. I'd like to put a shuttle hanger here. I think we're going to rotate it. Yeah, so it's facing this way. That leaves a block around it. Um, can I build this? Let's see if I can build this and tell it not to actually make it. Hmm. No, but just while we're paused. So if we build a hanger there, and then we build a pod hanger on this side of it, yes, there will be enough space to walk around. So if we built a pod hanger there, so that I can't build there, why not? Hmm, I don't understand why I can't build there. But anyway, ultimately, the, the goal would be to have two shuttle hangers in here. And then two pod hangers. Or three pod hangers. One, two... Hmm, I wonder if the reason I can't build there is because... We just don't have the resources if I tell it to build that other one. Let's see, so... So ideally, we'd have one, two, three. Look at that. I did do it right. Okay, so we're going to 
we're gonna move we're gonna build one of these for now and then move these two in it you can't um you can't just move one of these hangers see there's no move option there's a relocate option so you have to relocate the craft to another hanger and then you can move that so my plan is to build another hanger we'll start with this one down here we'll have them build this hanger we'll re relocate the pod there dismantle this hanger build a second one relocate the pod there and then dismantle that and we'll start with two in here eventually planning to have three pods and two shuttle bays and then hopefully we can do the same thing with the shuttle bay because I think a shuttle bay also only takes one tech block. Yes. So we should be able to do this. We should be able to move these right now. So let's unpause and let them build that. And good. We're, our only insufficient resource is the food resources. But we're finding plenty of food on the derelicts right now. Yes, it's old derelict food, but eh, they'll survive. All right. So I'm not really sure what Tala and Jimmy are doing over here, it looks like. There are still stuff to, there is still stuff to transfer. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what they're doing and see if maybe we can get Jimmy and Madeline to switch over to this other derelict. Although we do only have the one shuttle, but that's okay because it's not going to remain drafted. Um, Emerson. Not a hero. I'd really like Jimmy and Madeline to do it. So, actually, maybe just Jimmy can do it all by his lonesome. Jimmy, I want you to get on the shuttle. You're going to take on that derelict by yourself. Hopefully it won't be too terrifying. <laughs> yes, yes, it's drafted. We'll take care of that in a moment. Jimmy's going to borrow the ship. Um, Tala, you're just going to have to be inefficient over there for a moment. Okay. You want to dock at this other derelict. Oops. What happened there? I can't zoom in. Ah, oh, I see. It was zoom. It was zooming me in so fast that it was totally black. Okay. We're going to dock here. Except once it get there, gets there, we will release that shuttle. And Tala can resume. Hopefully she'll be smart enough to go get oxygen as she runs out. MSA and Madeline can have some fun building this shuttle, which will then move as soon as possible. Let's take a look at Jimmy. Speed this up a bit so that uh, we can actually watch it travel. Slow down when it gets there. We're going to have to power that. Something I forgot to consider. Okay. As soon as this gets here, we're going to have Jimmy hop off, undraft the shuttle, and hopefully uh, with his pistol, he'll be able to take out what's on whatever's on this ship. I probably should have given him the better weapon. Shuttle undrafted. He can always retreat to the, uh, to the airlock if he's overwhelmed. We will have to be kind of careful here. Good sign that there's nothing seen yet. That kind of, it's a pretty small ship. And there's a good chance that he just won't find any creatures on this. But we'll try to get him out of here as soon as possible. Get him back to safety. Hopefully he doesn't run into anything. Oh, look at that. We did find... Either some data or some credits. A new data log. I haven't really been looking at the data logs we've been collecting. Uh, maybe I'll take a take an episode to just read through those soon. But I think we're going to just continue ignoring data logs for now. Or maybe just leave those because they're kind of spoilers for the, for the story if you're into the story part of this game. Let me know. Let me know if you want me to read those. Take a look. Uh, we could always dedicate, you know, a few minutes in... The beginning or end of these episodes to take a look at the data logs. Um, let's go check this closet over here. So far, no aliens on this ship. Nothing out of the ordinary. No reason that it's a derelict. I guess it was just abandoned. 
Maybe the people got picked up. There's a big hole in it. Maybe it was attacked by pirates. Oops, get in there. You do have to explore every room on these ships before you can salvage them. Hmm. Let's go look in here. Nothing in there. Should be close to the last room, maybe that, unless there's subdivisions. Yep, there's some divisions over here. In here, it's like a little office space. Gives us some ideas of how I might, gives me some ideas of how I might want to subdivide our ship. Seeing these pre existing prefab ships. Uh, that should be it. Yes, okay. So you are no longer drafted. We can zoom out and let's set up the transfer orders on this ship. Ah, oh, damn, it's an energy cell. I got my hopes up that that was a tech block. Just an energy cell. There's some fruit here, though. That'll come in handy. Let's bring the fruit. Let's get the energy cell. Those electronic components, those will come in handy. We'll take the food. We'll take that in for block. We'll take the power rod, whatever those are called, energy rod. And we'll take, we'll always take the water. So that's going to keep Tala and Jimmy busy for a while. Hopefully that shuttle goes back and picks up Tala. Hopefully Jimmy is smart enough to get some oxygen. <laughs> might, yes, he's going back. Great. Okay, so we're going to, they'll autonomously finish those transfers. Meanwhile, let's check on the building progress. Great. So we can now, hopefully, even though it's not powered, we can relocate the shuttle or the pod to that bay and then we're going to want to put a power node or more than one power node possibly in this area. Luckily we do have quite a few energy blocks that we've been finding on these derelicts. So it's not going to be any trouble whatsoever to make more power nodes around the ship. We might also want to start considering more of these power capacitors. Like we have one for this side of the ship Maybe we want another one for this side of the ship, just to power this uh, this room here. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. We will probably want to revisit the power eventually. The way this room's laid out, remember, there's going to be hmm, it's going to be two shuttles with a with a one with a path in between them, and then three pods over here. So what we'll probably want to do is pause this again and just lay that out so that I can see where the power has to be. So I'm going to go to this airlock. I'm going to go airlock. I'm going to grab a shuttle hanger. Drop it in here where I expect it to be. Drop this other one here. Um, that kind of shows us this line here is where we can put power. So I'm going to put a floor power node here maybe. Or possibly wall two wall nodes might make more sense. Put wall node here, wall node here. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do one for now. So we're going to put a wall node here, which means, um, sorry, here, which means we'll need a wall there, which I did plan on having anyway. Um, so this wall node's going to be here, which means we'll need a wall there. Um, and we're going to need a, a wall here anyway. And then we'll put two doors. So we'll probably put a door in after we figure out where the power is. So that effectively walls that off. Um, they'll have to build walls here. There's already a light on that side, so we'll probably put the door there lining up with the hallway. Wall this off completely. We're going to want power. I don't think it'll let me put the power node until that wall exists. Yes. So we're going to put, we'll put the power, one power node here. Um, and then we'll be able to put another power node, hopefully, on this wall. If not, we'll put a floor node there. So let's wait until that wall node gets created. Oops, let's make sure to not actually create these two shuttle bays. Oh, look at that. The It's already been transferred over there, so we can dismantle that pod.
the walls are going up. It's the second wall that we want to put our power node on. So as soon as he's, as soon as Emerson has built that second wall, we'll throw the power node up on it. There it goes. That will link to here, and then hopefully, yeah, it looks like we'll need a floor node. It would be nice to put a power node over here, but the because we'd get maximum overlap there, but we will need a connecting node between them. So let's put this here. For some reason, I can't put it there. That must be where the door is. Can't block the door. I'll put it here. Mm, yeah, because I want it to cover that southern wall in case we want to put lights on that wall. So I'll put this guy here. And Shuttlecraft is delivering goods. Three people back on here. Tala is still doing the transfer operation there. I didn't really look at the salvage on either of these because honestly, we really don't seem to be getting much um, utility out of doing salvage. We might do that later if our resources get really desperate, but unless there's like, you know, some kind of high hull scrap because we do run out of hull blocks. Low hull scrap just isn't really going to be worth it to bother, even bother with the salvage. Okay, finished power node. We can link that one up. This should link just straight back to here. Push the right button. Okay. And then it looks like she's building that. So as soon as that floor node's built, we can link it up and we will have our first shuttle bay moved. Also looks like Jimmy's just about finished dismantling. He does do it pretty slowly. Jimmy, what's your construction skill? He's construction skill three. Uh, maybe he's just getting very tired. He also seems pretty damn unhappy. Uh, he had space spaceship fatigue and he hates working out here because it's so noisy because of the the shuttle base. Look at this. If we look at comfort out here, bad, horrible place to work out here because it's got a power generator, a shuttle hanger, and pod hanger in here. Once we seal these off, uh, this will still be a pretty poor environment because it'll have the uh, shuttle and pods in it. Uh, but It'll eventually, it'll at least make this area nicer. Once we wall that off, we can put the plants in there. They'll spend more time in there with the plants. Um, and it'll, the generator and the pods being separate will lower the overall negative value of that. Uh, if we have doors and walls, they, they seem to block the spread of negative comfort. So we'll put a wall, I mean a door there, so they can get into this area. Should also check the temperature once we do that. Still pretty cold. We're gonna need heaters in here. We're gonna. Looks like we're generally a little colder than we should be all over. So we're gonna need heaters throughout, especially in these wing sections. We'll go ahead and do that when they wake up in the morning. For now, though, that's another another day complete. Uh, Tali and Jimmy having their meals a little bit later than Emerson and Madeline. Uh, they are getting... Emerson got thanked again, and or actually that looks like it's leftover from earlier. And he is feeling comfortable. He's resting. Someone's still mean to him. I'm sure it was Madeline. She seems like the one everybody hates. Jimmy, feeling comfortable. Good. Fatigued from being in the spacesuit. Ah, someone was mean to Madeline. So, oh, someone thanked her too, too, though. Interesting. Maybe they were mean to each other and then thanked each other. Who knows? And then it looks like the feeling comfortable is spreading to all of them. That's excellent. So they're increasing their comfortable feelings by being in that our nice, comfortable room there. Temperature is a little low, but comfort 7. Comfort 10 on the beds. Nice. 
I could use a little bit more light in here, I think. Like maybe if the light was facing that way and shining on the bed. I have one light down here. Zero light elsewhere. Interesting on the light. I wonder how that works. There's not really any separate comfort from lighting, and it only seems to light up the squares. Oh, I see. It lights up the squares immediately in front of the light. And a tiny bit to one side. But not to one side in front. So, I mean, to get maximum comfort, you'd really have to have a light shining on each bed, I guess. Weird. All right, let's speed up the night. Get them back working in the morning. And um, since we're not doing a whole construction tomorrow, we're not going to use the night time to work on the whole layout anymore. We're just going to continue as is. One thing I did notice is that our mass is exceeding our drive capability still. So we're going to want to increase the number of hyperdrives we have. And of course, hyperdrives are yet another thing that requires tech blocks to build. So that's not something that we're going to be able to do uh, for some time until we when we find or are able capable of making more tech blocks. So that means they're going to be hyper jumping at uh, lower than optimum efficiency, which I think just translates to they're going to use up their hyperfuel, this cluster of green spheres, their hyperfuel, they're going to use that up a little bit faster than they would if if uh, their mass was under what the drive was capable of producing. I think that is covered a tiny bit here. Fuel to hyper jumps ratio is 6. So I think that means not I think that means the total fuel they have will allow them to do six jumps. I'm not positive. It's kind of a vague, uh, vague number there to try to figure out what that means. All right, everyone's back awake and working. This power node is the top priority, plus uh, moving things into into storage. Another. Uh, another thing we're going to have to consider is how to lay out the storage, this airlock. With the hyperdrive back here, if we want to add more hyperdrives, we're going to need, you know, to make it look nice, we'd want hyperdrives on either side of this one. So that means moving some of this stuff out of the way. That probably means moving this airlock to a different location. Power is all linked up. And now we're ready to build the second pod down here. Let's do that. Second pod. With a space between them. Goes there. And it thinks, it says that it's not possible here, although we, we know that we have that extra text block, tech block. I think that's probably just because it's laying on the floor here. They're going to they're going to bring stuff in and build it, even though it claims that it's not possible. Um, double check what we've got left for salvage. So they still have they still have some stuff left to transfer here. Looks like they're pretty much done transferring here, unless we want to take these bug corpses with us. Uh, that's kind of like I view that as emergency meat. We do have human corpses that we probably can dump. Um, it, it might also be a trade item, like we might be able to trade that to another ship. Some other people might be more interested in eating bug meat than we are, but we have plenty of meals right now. Plenty of food. Not something we're going to worry about. As soon as this is constructed, we'll move that shuttle or that pod over, deconstruct the old one, and then we're going to wall this off as our grow room and, and maybe expand our expand our uh, infrastructure, our growing, our ability to grow things. We also want to do the the movement thing with the shuttle, which uh, hopefully we can do without too much trouble. Um, since it also takes one tech block to make a shuttle, we'll have to, I think we'll have to, yes, so even though the shuttle's not in there, 
we still won't be able to move the bay because we have to the shuttle has to have a place where it can land. So there we go, Jimmy's building the final pod. Um, Talo was over here busy working on some chemicals, which is great. I did see the power flash to low power for a brief moment there. But um, it doesn't look like we're, it looks like our power situation is totally fine. <laughs> As I say, that object not on power grid. That's okay, that's this other uh, shuttle pod. We're going to um, take care of that in a second. So let's relocate this pod here. Done. And as soon as that pod is moved, we can dismantle the old bay. Let's take a look at our power grid meanwhile. So it's just barely not on the power grid. Um, to fully flesh out this room, we're going we're gonna to want to do another um, wall-mounted power. Or maybe not. Maybe we can just get by with another floor-mounted power. Let's see. So if we put another power node, um, we'll want to do it here. Or ideally, maybe if we just move that one here, that's really what we can do for now. Then I think that is probably the most efficient thing to do. Let's just move this one over so it's between these two, kind of in the aisle between them. There. That will power both of them. We won't have to waste resources on another power grid or power node. And now, look, that shuttle moved. I didn't even see it happen. We can dismantle this one. Get our tech block back. And then we'll work on moving the, sh the larger shuttle bay. Critical resources are still low. We're still flashing low hull blocks. Probably, probably because it took, took a hull block to make the hangar. Yes, okay. And we have insufficient available resources marked here on the recy recycler, because we just don't have any scrap to recycle right now. So we're just going to cancel all those tasks. We might as well even power down the recycler for now until we get some more salvage in. Um, we are making chemicals. Ah, and we did get a power not link message, which means that they finished the power. So we should be able to link it back to that wall node. Power in both pots. Great. All right, so half the day gone. Um, is anybody out doing salvage? Yes. Uh, Emerson is heading out to finish transporting the goods. Once he's back, uh, we might as well jump to a new system. Meanwhile, <laughs> we can continue improving. Let's try building the second, a new hangar bay over here. Shuttle hangar, excuse me. Uh, we'll put that as close to the airlock as possible. Shoot. Okay, there's a problem there. Is having that power node on the floor makes it so we can't build. Can I move this forward one? Yeah, it'll let me move it there. Okay, so if I move it forward one, that should give us room to put the shuttle bay down. <laughs> it's a constant battle for... Uh, reshuffling parts of your ship to make sure you have room to put other parts down. As soon as that's moved, we'll build a hangar over there. Let's check on what it's going to take to build more of these uh, grow beds. Grow beds are going to take five infra. We are doing pretty well on infra with eight. All right, so let's just double check our steel plate situation. Nobody's making steel plates for some reason. They have access to it, right? Let's check access. Yeah, they can get to it. Nobody's bothering to make it. The infra block we, we are making if we're less than five. We will make those likewise whole blocks if we're less than five. I think I want to change both of these to less than ten. Um, whole blocks will take steel plates that will use up steel plates and make them run this thing. Um, but it'll at least turn the whole block, keep the whole block from being red, plus that'll give us the ability to um, make more hull on the ship without running out. So let's 
crank these up to 10 each. That'll give them something else to do. Info blocks do take circuit boards, which may trigger uh, making more circuit boards. I doubt. Okay, so that's 10 also. I doubt it though. It looks like we have plenty of circuit boards. And uh, it's probably okay to keep five on hand. Likewise, chemicals, we're doing good. We now have two already. Excellent. We might want to start plastic production too, but remember that takes carbon. And that's kind of plastics. The only thing I really saw that needs plastics is weapons. Um, we will get to that, but I'd really rather focus on tech blocks first. Let's reconnect this to the power grid. And let's move that airlock. Shuttle hangar. Shuttle hangar. We can add one finally. Good, okay. We'll add the shuttle hangar there. We'll, we'll rehome the shuttle. That immediately immediately knocked our whole blocks into the critical critical low level. Notice also that we have no tech blocks available. Um, but we do have plenty of infra. Although building a grow bed is also going to knock those low. I really would like to build it. I don't think it's an emergency to do it just now, though, because we do have we do have vegetables. We do have food. Um, I'll probably wait until they have a bigger supply of infra blocks before I trigger that. Um, it's kind of nice to know how much space that's going to take, though. So maybe we'll, we'll lay that out and just see. We're probably going to want to move this power, move these lights. Just make this whole area a little nicer. Okay, so it looks like these things are too wide. Uh, I think they have another... So, they, And you want kind of a area all the way around them. So I consider them four wide and five blocks long. So four wide, five blocks long. That leaves us kind of like a double row in between them if we want. Or we could shift the entire set toward this side of the ship, which might make sense just to move them. Unfortunately, if you move them, you do lose what's growing inside of them. So that's uh, something that you have to be careful. If you move these, all of these, um, all of these percents here will reset to zero. So it's a bad idea to move these in the middle of a grow. Our bedroom, I think, is fine. Our kitchen area is totally fine for now. The other thing we want to look at is our kind of our bridge area. We have no bridge on this ship. So it would be ideal just from an aesthetics point to have the bridge out here on kind of the end of the ship. We may, we're probably eventually going to want to stretch this ship out even further. I don't think I left any sketch notes on what this ship was going to look like. Oh, I did. Okay. Right. So the whole plan of this ship was originally to have to have it be kind of a a wedge shape so that we could expand. Uh, if we got additional ships, we could kind of expand them into this giant circle flotilla. Uh, I kind of want to carry that idea through. Obviously, it's going to take an incredibly long amount of time to get that far at the pace we're going. But hopefully we'll get there eventually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with that goal in mind. Um, it looks like we're just about to wrap up our second day. Uh, it looks like the video is also getting to about the half hour mark here. We did manage to create this new shuttle base. Let's finish up by relocating the shuttle to this bay and then. Let's do a dismantle order on the old shuttle bay. That's really going to clear up a lot of floor space in the hull. It's really nice to finally see this coming together with something that looks like a bit of order. Might even be nice to just build a wall along here, even if it's not like the end all be all. It looks like a wall is going to fit here just perfectly though. So getting a wall in there will let us uh, increase the comfort level of this whole area and just give them a lot more space on the ship that is a reasonable comfort level. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to be using this uh, X1 wall 
As soon as Madeline's finished there, we're going to plop one down here. Um, we'll leave a space for a door. Probably here, I guess. Makes more sense to have a door that opens down into the corridor. And then just fill the rest of that up with wall. Throw a door in. Hmm, we got a ship to trade with. See if there's anything we can trade with this ship before the day's over. It does say we can hail them, but I don't think that will actually do anything because, yeah, we don't have an operations console, so we can't actually talk to other ships yet. All right, they have no tech blocks, which would really be what we're looking for. They have some scrap, some meat, mm, some base metals, nothing we're really, really interested in. They will pay a whole heck of a lot for fuel. Wow, we have a lot of Hyperium. They don't pay as much for Hyperium as they do for fuel. I'd rather keep that and turn it into fuel rather than sell it to someone. Um, medical supplies. Food, they're willing to pay a lot for real food. They don't really want, they don't want our space food. They want processed food. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's nothing here that we can really give to them, so we're not even going to bother with that trade. Walls going up. Uh, someone still out on the shuttle. Good, the shuttle's coming back. Hopefully, Emerson gets back with the shuttle before the shift is over. We can check what the comfort level looks like now. Look at that. Immediately, comfort level goes up. Ah, oh, this ship is starting to get comfortable, people. We will consolidate things a little more. Get some light and heat in these cold areas. That will improve things a lot. And before the shift is over, come on, Emerson, get get home, buddy. You got half an hour. Uh, I was going to say before the shift is over, let's jump to, to another sector, but don't think they're going to make it in time. I guess we can tell them to start the jump now, and that will at least get someone on the console. Looks like maybe Jimmy's going to do that. Interesting, I'm not sure what that red mark by their job indicator means. Ah, forced work, okay. So she's doing forced work navigating. Probably doesn't like that very much, but we can now jump as soon as that shuttle docks. Jumping. Oops, well, look at that. Let me zoom all the way out to the Galaxy, all right, in this solar system. We do see some resource here, not a lot. Mm. And I believe we've been there and depleted that. So looks like we've been here. We've probably been here and here. Maybe we're going this direction. I'd like to see what's at this planet. I'd like to see what's there. Let's head this way first. See what's over here. All right. So this is somewhere. This is an empty asteroid field. Ah, oh, there's some Hyperium and a derelict. Let's head there. We can always use more Hyperium. There's a lot of Hyperium in this area. All right. We're going to drop here. We're going to explore this derelict and this Hyperium. But uh, the shift is just about ever over. Everyone's going to want to go to bed as soon as possible. All right, let's get you guys over close to this derelict. Deploy you there. And when you wake up in the morning, we can send you straight over to that derelict to see what's going on. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, everything is powered. Our hangar bay is looking good. It's getting nice and organized. We have walls everywhere. Uh, even with this tiny power system, we're still making... Uh, enough power to power everything. Although I did notice this yellow light on the power system. That's probably a good indicator that this thing's a little bit overloaded 
and we might want to improve it. So chalk that up on the list of things that need improving around here. Mm. Build cost is four uh, tech blocks to make this one and five to make this one. So we do have enough tech to upgrade our power generator one level if that if it really comes to that. But that will greatly limit us because we won't have any tech blocks to mess around with at that point. And by mess around, I mean just we won't be able to do anything like build temporary uh, build temporary shuttle bays or anything like that. We might want to use that uh, tech block to just make an additional shuttle bay because having two shuttle bays will let us uh, shuttle things back and forth to derelicts a lot quicker. We can have one shuttle go into the derelict while another one's coming back, etc. Might just improve the efficiency of resource gathering overall. But um, kind of hesitating on doing that. It's nice to have just that little cushion just in case there's something like in case we do end up needing a new generator or uh, something else comes up. So, taking one last look at our people. Uh, <laughs> uh, Emerson ate a little bit too much. Jimmy is doing okay. Madeline is resting comfortably. That's excellent. So she's doing a lot better. She's no longer having her uh, mental breakdown. And everybody's feeling comfortable. Everybody's going to bed. As soon as they're in bed... Uh, I'm going to say goodbye to you all and thank you very much for watching and I hope you're enjoying this. And if so, feel free to leave a like or a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Take care and thanks again for watching.